hello guys welcome back to prime side and in this video i'm going to be making my liquid dish wash i'll be taking you through all the steps in making this and i'm also going to be taking you through all the right measurements to achieve this i'll also be showing you every single reason for every single ingredient that we'll be using here because i have found out that making dishwashers are actually very tasky and tricky for most people so i'm just going to make this video to simplify every single thing the first and most important here is my water here i have five liters of water that i'll be using to dissolve my powders and then i also have another five liters of water that i'll be using as my base so basically i'll be using 10 liters of water first here okay so the first um, powder i have here is my nitrosol now nitrosol is usually used as thickeners for liquid washes and is majorly used as thickener and then i have my stpp which means sodium tripolyphosphate generally it is used as a builder to help the uh, surfactants to form very well and it can also act as a chelating agent that will help to reduce the oxidation of the soap and here i have sls which is sodium laureate sulfate and it's a cleansing agent and a surfactant and it will help the ladder of the soap and then i have my caustic soda which is also a surfactant and it's actually the lye this will make the lye that actually forms the soap and then i have sulfonic acid now sulfonic acid is actually a very strong acid that serves as a thickener also but now the thickness comes from a particular reaction that occurs when you add sulfonic acid into your soup this particular reaction actually helps to cut water and grease and this actually makes it a very good choice in dishwash because most of the time the plates you're washing with your washing usually contain oil and you're washing with water so you really need um, um a good ingredient that will actually help you to cut water and grease you know and which will result in a good cleanse this means that sulfonic acid is really really important in making our soup okay and then i have my foam booster as the name implies it will actually help to boost the foaming ability okay so if you want you do not want to use a foam booster you can increase the quantity of your other surfactants then we have texapon texapon is equally a foam booster that is used in many surfactant production like uh, body washes and um, shampoos and all that it's also a foam booster so you can choose not to use this because you already have sls in this production okay so if you know the reason for your ingredients you will definitely know which to leave and which to be compulsorily used then i have my fragrance of which you can use any kind of fragrance and you can also use synthetic fragrance since you're not using it for body and then lastly i have my colors here i'll be making two variants i'll be making green color and um or and yellow color signifying orange flavor and apple flavor okay let's just take it that way or lemon and apple so the process is actually going to be very easy since we already know how and what this um ingredient does okay so uh, the first thing these powders we are going to dissolve them with water when dissolving you have to be very careful and you have to be very fast i'm first dissolving my nitro so nitro is a thickener so immediately you start adding the water it will start thickening so you have to stir immediately you have to make sure that you stir everything immediately so that your soap doesn't have lumps it will dissolve later on but it will actually take time to dissolve so just dissolve immediately and then you're getting a very thick paste after dissolving this i'll simply set it aside and then i'll go ahead to dissolve the sttp i'll always advise you to add powders in water and not water in powders because you might not know whatever reaction that may occur especially when it comes to surfactants and acids so usually i'll advise that you add powders into 
water and stir okay so this is my stpp i'm stirring and then i'll also set this aside and then i'll be mixing my sls sls is just a surfactant it's not an acid so i'm just um, going to pour in my water and then i'm going to mix sls might take a very long time to dissolve sometimes i don't really wait for it to dissolve i will allow it to dissolve in the soup so here is my caustic soda this one you have to make sure that you're pouring the powder into the water and not the other way around and make sure that you're doing this in an airy place okay it's very important make sure that your windows are open and um, there is no much heat in here also make sure that you're wearing your gloves because you're working with acids okay so after mixing all my powders with water i'm just going to set all aside and then i will wait for them to dissolve these other ones they do not need to be dissolved because they're already in the liquid phase so i'll go ahead to mix my colors so like i said i'm using a yellow color and i'm also using a green color okay so you can use any color of your choice for your liquid soap you can use purple you can use um wine you can use um blue you can use whatever color you want to use for your liquid soap so i chose these two colors because they are one of the most common colors used in uh, liquid soap pr uh, production and so we can re uh, easily relate so that's why i chose these two colors so i'm mixing this with my water and as you can see i have green here and i have yellow here okay so i think it's time to go and um, do the formulation proper so let's get started with our bucket of five liters of water so here i'm making a total of 10 liters of liquid wash i'm having my five liters um, of water here and do not forget that we had a remaining from the other um uh, from mixing our powder so i'm pouring the remainder in here also I'll also be needing a long turning stick which is very very important so I'll be need using this stick with this measurement I usually like starting up with 10 liters of water and if it is really thick I can add any more water of my choice because I just do not want to make it really watery okay so you have to take note so that you don't get to make a very watery soup so the first I'm going to be adding here is my nitro soil which is my base and a thickener so I'm going to be adding this into my water and immediately you add it make sure to stir so that you don't start gathering lumps and so that they are easily dissolved so everything you're adding into this make sure that as you are adding them you're stirring them immediately so after adding the nitro soil I added my SLS and I added every other thing just make sure th the trick here is just make sure that you dissolve everything in water first before you're coming to add everything don't come and start adding them in the bucket you're going to get lumps and you might not even get the right consistency or whatever or for your soup so make sure that you dissolve all your powders first before you start pouring them in here and so this is how i poured every single ingredient into my bucket and make sure that as you are turning them you're um mixing very very well okay so yes we have everything and the last one here is our sulfonic acid and then as we pour in our sulfonic acid the reaction like i told you about is going to take place and the soap is going to become thicker and it will it will form a soap almost immediately as you can see it will form a soap almost immediately sulfonic acid is really really important in making our liquid wash so after you uh, adding a sulfonic acid see how the soup is looking it's looking thick and creamy like our normal dish wash it was all watery when we were mixing um all the other ingredients but upon the addition of sulfonic acid we got this creamy and thick consistency so lastly i'm going to be adding my fragrance you can you can actually use different fragrances for the two colors but that's totally your choice so after this i'm going to get in another bucket which i'm going to be using to divide our soap before we add our color so i'm going to bring in my colors and i'm going to be adding my two different colors in two different buckets and voila we got our soap this lemon in color yellow in color and this other one green in color and our dishwash is actually ready 
see how easy this looks but we are not going to be we're not done yet because some of the ingredients in this are not yet they are not fully dissolved so we are going to be leaving this till the next day and also check the consistency is really light okay so we are going to be leaving this till the next day for all the the ingredients to fully dissolve and you know come to its reform now this is the next day and all the foam has come down now see the thickness of this soap other than the previous day when we just fully made it now see the thickness of this one now the yellow um bucket actually the yellow color soap actually is thicker than the green and this is because it was the yellow bucket we actually used in the formulation and so many of the ingredients settled at the bottom then when we shared the soap a lot settled with the yellow bucket than the green bucket that's why the yellow is a whole lot thicker than the green but the both of them are equally thick thicker than the previous day so all the ingredients are fully dissolved and they are well incorporated into the soap and i also made sure not to close the the bucket so that the um the acids can actually um reduce like they can actually evaporate enough okay so i'm going to be adding more water into this other yellow part that is why i said use um 10 liter for this particular measurement then if you see that the, the soap is really thick you can add water to your taste but do not add much water from the beginning so that you don't spoil your soap so i just added a little water and i'm even okay with the thick consistency i'll go right ahead to bottle up my liquid dishwasher so if this video is helpful to you please give me a thumb up and please subscribe to this channel also all the ingredients are available to purchase just see the link in the description box where you can buy from us so thank you so much for watching and i hope you make your own dishwash very soon and be perfect see you next time bye